Just a warning, some of the images, though, might be difficult to watch. He did win his, over his battle at first, but he's not, he's still fighting. Like most thoroughbreds, this two-year-old stallion was bred to run and win. But after a tornado struck Seminole in May, the fact that he's still standing is a massive victory. A friend of mine uh, owned the farm that was hit by this tornado, and she lost a few of her own horses. This horse was being boarded there. Because of the extent of his injuries, there was no one, she didn't have a facility or any help to really keep him wrapped and, and do what was needed, you know, for him. That's when Lynn Sullivan at Thoroughbred Athletes Incorporated in Guthrie stepped in. Here, she takes in racehorses who, for various reasons, won't make it to the track and retrains them, helping them find a new path. You can't just say whoa and pull back on the reins and expect them to stop. They, they don't understand those things. It's an entirely different ball game than uh, jumping on a rodeo horse and running some barrels. While this colt may never compete in a rodeo and certainly won't run on the track, he's got a new formal name that can compete with the best of the best, EF1. Because, you know, tornadoes are measured on an EF scale, and this horse faced down a tornado, and he actually won. After several surgeries, EF1 is still recovering and not out of the woods just yet. But he's surrounded by love and in the process of being adopted. I knew it was just meant to be when I met him, and he's just a, a warrior in my eyes, so I'm happy to call him mine. While his legs are weakened by scars of the past, his heart carries him through the day. Just to see him be this gentle, calm, curious soul and not scared of humans or anything of the surroundings is an amazing thing. In Guthrie, Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. And Sullivan says there are still many concerns as EF1 is a growing horse with severe injuries. And they're selling t-shirts with his picture on them and the proceeds are going to his care. We do have a link if you're interested at KFOR.com.